In the event of a power outages, a house can be powered up using generators. There are two kinds of generators that can be used for this purpose. One is the standby generator, which are designed for that specific purpose. The problem is that these are very expensive. They can go from $5,000 up to $10,000 or more. Or another option is the use of portable generator that are getting more and more popular for this application. The question is, is it safe to run a portable generator to power up a house in case of a power outage? And the answer to that question is no right out of the box, but they can be modified to be safe to use. And this is what I'm going to be explaining in this video. If you look inside your breaker panel, you're going to see that the ground bar and the uh, neutral bar, they are connected together. That is what is called a neutral bonded system, meaning that the neutral is bonded to the ground bar. And that is a requirement of the NEC National Electrical Code that in uh, one point in your house, neutral and ground need to be connected together. And it's happening in the breaker box. You can see that bar right there running behind all this breaker and coming out right there is the bar connecting the ground to the neutral bar. This is where the connection is taking place. And why is that? Why neutral is bonded to ground? So according to the National Electric Code, it says in the Article 250, there is a requirement in which the neutral must be bonded to the ground at the first means of disconnect in our case, the breaker panel, to avoid induced transit voltage and current. So the key point here is at the first means of disconnect. All right, so let's imagine that we have our house right here, where we have our breaker panel, and we just saw that the ground bar and the neutral bar, they're both connected. We're gonna call this one ground and this one neutral. So anything that we connect in this system, which is all the appliances inside the house, is gonna be compliant with the National Electrical Code because there is only one point in which the ground is connected to the neutral. That connection is not happening on any of the appliances, but only here in the breaker panel. If we would have a portable generator, and this is, I'm referring to portable generator, not a standby generator, because the standard generator, they are already wired in a different way. They are already floating neutral. So this is uh, our generator. This is the wheel. We're looking from the back. This is the gas tank. This is a run cover in the back. You're gonna see there are some connection. One of these connection is gonna be called neutral, and one of these one is ground. So it can be seen when you open this cover that the ground is reached to the neutral. That means that anything that we connect to the generator, any power tools, whatever, this system, there's gonna be only one place where the ground is bonded to the neutral. It's not gonna happen on any of these tools, it's gonna happen only on the generator. So this is compliant to the National Electrical Code. But what will happen if we use a portable generator to feed the house through a breaker, which is a very common using an interlock, back feed the panel through a breaker. Now this whole system is not compliant. The reason is because now we have two points, not one as per the National Electrical Code, where the ground and the neutral are connected here and in the generator. So in order to make this system compliant, we need to remove this bridge. By doing so, we'll turn what is called a neutral bonded generator, which is the way they come for the most part when you buy new. We'll convert it to a flow, floating neutral. So this is the conversion we're gonna do next. And by having a floating neutral portable generator feeding the breaker panel, now we're gonna have only one point in the breaker panel where the ground and neutral are bonded. So in a neutral bonded generator, neutral and ground are bonded. So let's check it out. 
So in order to access the bridge, I'm gonna remove this cover. I got already the bolt loose. And right here, you can see the ground to neutral bridge. So I'm gonna do these two bolts and remove this cable. Just holding the note in the ground cable. Now right next I'm going to undo the bolt on the neutral bar. Just to detach completely the bridge. Just coming out. Put the bolt back on. And now this generator is loaded neutral. And in order not to lose this cable, I'm gonna attach it with a zip tie over here. So in case I need it in the future, it's gonna be available. So I'm gonna measure ground and neutral and it shouldn't have any continuity. Nope, open. All right, full disclaimer here. I'm not an electrician, so the purpose of this video is not to tell anyone how this has to be done. Uh, this is just to show where uh, my research is at this moment and I still have a lot to learn about this topic. But if you have more information that can complement the video and add to it, just please share it in the comments below so we can all read it and learn from each other.